chocolate drop cookies. I'm Winter, and this is the first episode of Superfood Adventures. What happened to the sky? <laughs> There's so many things to say about this, and uh, I'm really excited. Let's see where. Holy cow, we're really far away from uh, zero zero. Let's see. Yeah, this seems to be the way to go. So, what's going on here? White wall, as you can see, but, but, but first, first, for all of you who either know me or do not know me, you may be wondering, what's so special about this series? Why should I be watching this? Here is, um, I'm going to give you a little hint as to what we're doing here. The reason why this is special and something you will not see in most other videos, places, series or anything. This is really exciting. Listen to this, listen to this, to this, listen to this secret. We're going to defeat the Ender Dragon twice. Twice! <laughs> in a row! So let's get started. I'll explain why and how in a moment. But first, as you can see, uh, I decided as my first uh, series of Super Flood Adventures, I would do something in my own style, that is a really colorful one. This is a typical, you may have seen already something like this, a pr super flat present where it's made up of wool, colored wool. So we got here, we got white wool, yellow wool, light green, dark green, blue, cyan. <laughs> uh, I put every single type of uh, wool existing in vanilla Minecraft. Which means that I, I try to make uh, some sort of rainbow, but uh, with all of these colors and shades, it wasn't really possible. After all, where was I supposed to put the black one? <laughs> so I just put them in some sort of order that made sense to me and uh, it looked cool, so I'm okay that way. Plus, oh wow, oh I almost got the water and uh, wow, I survived it out of a heart. <laughs> uh, that, that was perfect, that was, that was so nice. Here, oh. Cheaty zoom of Optifine, that looks really nice. So, be, let's be really careful here, what is going on? Wow, let's see again. Uh, I should probably go this way. What is going on here? First, uh, oh, no, I did not look at you. <laughs> we have every single type of colored wool up there. Then we have 20 or so blocks of air. And then we have exactly the same thing down here. So again, white, yellow, light green, and so on. There's a reason for this, there's a reason why I put two layers of colored wool. What's going to happen here is that we will mostly play down here, almost the entire series. We'll play down here. And there's a lot of endermen around. <laughs> and there's mineshafts, surface mineshafts, that is really awesome and amazing. What are we going to do here? How are we going to survive in here? There's lots of things to say about this present, uh, to the point where I don't think I can say all of them in only one episode, so I'll have to... Just! I'll have to... Uh, say things a bit at a time. I really need to be make sure not to look at any endermen. Let's see what's in here. Pumpkin seeds, bread and bread. Bread is great. This is one of those... No, I don't want to put it here. There. This is one of those worlds. I will start by saying, with this being a super flat custom present, uh, if you want to survive in a super flat custom world, you will do so. I mean, the difficulty of the world you're playing in, you're the one who decides how difficult it is going to be. So depending on what resources you allow the world to spawn and so on, it may be harder or easier. Uh, this specific present could be made much harder. I tried to make it so that it would still be mostly interesting to watch. There's a torch on the ground. And I want it to be... Oh, goodness. Uh, don't scare me like that. Uh oh, oh um, I'm hearing a terrible sound. Did you hear that? Oh, there's another chest up there. Careful, because there's spiders somewhere really close. Uhu, uhu, uhu! Awesome! Got lots of things I needed. That's great. This, the particularity of this seed, uh, seed, no, of this present is oh, oh my goodness, crap! Look at that. That is really dangerous. Kill spiders. Is that it's not really difficult uh, 
to fight in here and live in here as much as it is difficult just to find the resources in here there are no animals so the only source of food we will ever get is bread and melons but for the melons we first need dirt and that uh, can only be found teleporting enemy really scare me can only be found in mine shafts as you may know, uh, mine shafts start generating always from a big square dirt room. And that is our only source of dirt in the entire game, so we'll have to make good use of that. Now, let's make the most important tool of the entire series. Ta-da! <laughs> Shears have this particular uh, particularity about them in that they cut through wool but they don't lose durability so we can use this to dig everywhere we want and it's really fast so that is awesome uh, also they can cut through oh I did not look at you they can cut through uh, cobweb real easy too and they give you string but uh, they will not uh, they, they will lose durability if you use them for string now we need to I cannot believe this. Uh, do you hear this sound? We're hearing skeletons. We're hearing skeletons. That is absolutely awesome. So, not just the terrain is particular about this present. Uh, another thing that is particular, as you have noticed, uh, is that only Enderman are around. Why is that? Uh, here, uh... Let me explain something. I, I need to explain lots of things and you may probably know most of them but I can't really know what uh, everybody knows or does not know. There is this thing. When you go, let's say, to the nether. In the nether, there is a specific biome that is unique to the nether. You need to distinguish between two things. One is the nether dimension and one is the nether biome. And for clarity, we're going to call the nether biome by its uh, technical name, that is the one you will see if you press F3 while you're in the nether, that is hell. That, that is the word that they use uh, for the biome in the nether, it's the hell biome. So, nether dimension, hell biome. Alright? Good. That is important. The end has a similar thing in that it has its own biome. So, the end dimension has its own biome, wh whose technical name is, here let me point it out, Sky. Alright? So, when you're in the end and you press F3, look at that, when you're in the end and you press F3, you, uh, you will see that uh, you're in the Sky biome. Now, oh, one thing you can do in, in uh, custom... Custom super flat uh, generation is that you can specify since 1.4 the biome you're in. Hello. Oh, that is so cool. That's what I've done for this one specific present. We are in a sky biome, and sky biome does uh, many interesting things. Mob spawning. Natural... Oh. oh, 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 dangerous, dangerous. Natural mob spawning that is uh, not through... Um... Oh my god. <laughs> I have everything I could possibly ever want. Look at that, we found our dirt room. Uh, I'm going to get lost here if I keep distracting myself. Mob spawning is biome dependent. Mobs only spawn in their own biome, in their own specific biomes. This applies to things uh, you would pay less attention to, like um, nether mobs. Like nether mobs. <laughs> uh, guests, zombie pigmen, and uh, magma cubes 
only spawn in the hell biome. It doesn't really matter which dimension you're in. It's just the biome that counts. Let's see. You know what? I think I might... Uh... Oh, uh, by the way, there is no... There is no bedrock nor anything. If I don't pay attention to where I walk, I fall in a void. I thought it would be slightly more interesting this way. If all mob spawning, it depends on uh, what biome you're in. That applies to all mobs, besides uh, spawning that is not natural, like spawners. Spawners will always work, even custom ones, like non-natural ones, like creeper spawners that people making custom maps or things like that. I'm going to get lost soon here. Oh, by the way. Admit it, this is the most awesome mineshaft in the world. Look at that, it's so nice. <laughs> so colorful. Uh, spawners will always work, which is why we're in a sky biome, and yet we get skeletons over there, because that is a spawner. Oh, there's a chest over here. Uh, oh, there's two chests! Mm, nice. Nice, nice, and nice. In the mobs that you can build, so that is... Oh wow, lots of iron. Oh, 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 oh crap, oh crap. Okay, bed, bed, break it, break it. Bed. <laughs> oh, that is why we get cave spiders too. Wither, iron golem, and the snow golem guys. They all will spawn. I think maybe there is an ex no. You should be able to build them in the Nether as well. Yes, you should be able to. So uh, those are the only mobs that uh, do not follow these rules. Otherwise, every other mob, every single one of them, is going to spawn according to their own biome. All right, following me. That's good. I said every single one because that includes and. You may, you may have guessed what this is going by now. This includes the Ender Dragon. The Ender Dragon is uh, scripted so that... Uh, hello! Oh, I do not have torches, but blah, 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 now that I think about it. Uh, here. The Ender Dragon is scripted so that it will spawn once, exactly once, per sky biome. Place a torch, place a torch, place a torch, place a torch. There we go. That if we were, we're in a sky biome right now. If we were to walk towards zero zero, we would find an ender dragon. And that is really awesome because this allows us to do something that it's not otherwise possible to do in vanilla Minecraft in normal world generation. Oh oh, oh oh, close it, close it. Oh, out of blocks, out of blocks. You should never be out of blocks. That is defeat two ender dragons, a total of two in the save file in the same save file. That is really cool and awesome and I do not have a sword. I just started getting cobble. What are the skeletons doing? I guess I'll have to punch them to death. <laughs> so that is what we're going to do here. We're going to walk to zero zero. Oh wow, he dropped a bow. Hey, hey! I'm not supposed to do that. We're going to get ready, walk all the way to zero zero, defeat the Ender Dragon there, and then go to the end. By the way, in case you don't know, in super flat worlds, the end and the nether are not flat, they're normal. Get to the end and defeat the Ender Dragon and we're going to find there. Plus, since I'm hardcore like that, I'm going to do that uh, in, a, in a row. Like, I'm going to defeat the Ender Dragon in the overworld and then the Ender Dragon in the end without uh, a pause and hopefully in the same episode as well. There we go. I get on the other side of the thing. This should be safe, I think. Oh, only one torch. Seriously, guys, what's your problem? Stop it. What are you doing? Oh, there's another one back there. This is normal. <laughs> Here, I'm going to conquer the... What the f... What's going on here? Okay. 
Okay, I don't get it. <laughs> um, what are you doing? Oh, I'm out of arrows. Well, I can always hit you with my bow if that if all else fails. Okay, let me break. Oh, are there two skeletons? No, only one. Boom! Oh wow, only one shot. Arrows are behaving weirdly today. This is ridiculous. Wait, I hear another skelly. Uh, it may have spawned on the surf or right here. That may, that may be the case too. Um, gonna die, gonna die, gonna die. Woo! Okay, let's try not to get this close to death ever again. This is not a hardcore world, yet I would really like to never die. To kind of uh, pretend that I'm playing in a... In a flat core world, sort of, but not really. Lots more of iron. Bread, bread, redstone, wheat, redstone. I was not expecting this, but by the end, uh, I, I'm not even finished with the first episode, and I already found everything I could possibly want. I have melon seeds, which are my only source of renewable food in the entire world. I have dirt, down there is an entire room full of dirt. I have a spawner, which is my only source of cobblestone. And uh, some coal, I have shears, I uh, and pfft, the most important thing, uh, yeah, I think I left some black hole, black holes? <laughs> Dark spots over there, because skeletons are spawning elsewhere. And a skeleton spawner, which is my only source of errors. There is no way for me ever to get errors in this world if not through skeleton spawners, because there are no chickens, so I can't craft them. Uh, I won't find gravel either. Um, that was a bad idea. Okay, I need to deal with you guys. Come on. I can't believe I'm trapped in the spawner room. Oh, do you have an enchanted boy? I think you do. There's at least two of them. Hi. Alright, got one. Excitement! Come on, Skelly. I know you're coming for me. Skellington! Auto torches. Coal is another difficult resource to get, because we get no trees nor saplings whatsoever at all. So this means that the only way we can't get charcoal, we can't make charcoal. So our only thing, our only way to make torches is to find the coal in mine shaft chests. We get, we have no alternative whatsoever. Careful, avoid the enderman. Is there one? Oh, hello. Boop. Okay, we got it. Boop. There we have it. Plus we have bones, which means that we can grow the watermelons faster. I have tools of iron, so I might as well make another really important tool, that is the bucket. I have allowed the world to generate water pools. Um, the game would be perfectly beatable. I think I heard spiders. Yes, spiders. The game would be perfectly beatable if I didn't allow the water pools to spawn. Well, mine shafts instead are required because otherwise I would starve. Uh, well, not really. Suppose if I found a zombie spawner, I would be able to survive on rotten flesh. But that is that that starts getting a bit uh, not unfair, just uh, annoying. Uh, auto torches. Oh, I also my inventory is full. I think I'll set up my base here. Uh, I'll place water. Somewhere around here, maybe here. Is it centered? I don't know if it's centered. I hear endermen everywhere. Okay, this is good. I'll make uh, a thing. Plus, here. Uh, let me just do this. I need. Oh, I need one extra torch because otherwise, here I need. I need to put you closer. Yeah, I think this is good. 
We need to get to the end, as I said, if we want to defeat uh, two Ender Dragons uh, at once. Uh, <laughs> at the same time. <laughs> uh, this can be accomplished in two different ways. Which is another thing that can only be done in this specific super flat world. I need to use the orange one. <laughs> Here, give me that. There. Much better. <laughs> uh, plus, give me this. I think I need to make a chest, but I don't have enough wood. I need to get more wood. Oh, dang it. I'm out of orange wool. I will not be able to do this. Ah. Ah. <laughs> but yes, we will discuss how to reach the second, the usual, the normal, the one that you're used to, Ender Dragon next time, because for now we have run out of time, we had our fun, and we found pretty much everything we need already by the end of the first episode. This was pretty lucky and nice and I'm really happy, so that uh, can only be a really promising start. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed yourself and I will see you Ah, purple. In the next episode of Super Flat Adventures!